Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is our 29th tutorial of Power BI. In the previous class, we have discussed some time manipulation functions and text functions. And now we will study some time intelligence function, which is our last part of DAX class. And here is only one function is left, which is time intelligence function. So now let me click on this link. And again, we have a list of various time intelligence DAX functions. So here is the list guys and firstly I will talk about this first date function. So let's go to the Power BI desktop window and go to our sales table. So I will make you understand the first date means. Here first day basically means whenever the product has sold first time in a month not matter which date it is it could be one or two or three or any date for example in January, our first date is sold out 10th of January. So, in this case, our first day is 10th of Jan, not 1st to 9th, because there is no sales has been made between 1st to 9th. So, 10th day is the first day of a month. And in Feb, our first sale has made on 26th of Feb. So, it will consider 26th Feb as a first day, not its 1st of Feb, because no sales has made between 1st to 25th of Feb. And in very similar way, in March, our first sale has made on 20th of March. So it will consider 20th day as a first day of March, not 1st to 19th day. So I hope you are clear with the first date. So let's see the practical, guys. Let's go to the visual page. And I will take new measure from here. And I will simply write my measure here, which is first date. So let's say my measure name is first date equal to sign. And now I will put my measure name, which is first date. Bracket start. And here is a only one parameter, which is date. So our date is order date. And close the bracket. So firstly, I will take one card visual from here and let me add sales column from here. So our total sales is 114k, which we have already know. Now I will take one more card visual here, guys. And let me drag the first date measure from here. So we guys can see it will display the first date of the order date. So let's cross check the data guys. So in sales table, our first date is 1st of Jan 2022. That means this measure is right. So now I want to see the sum of 1st of Jan. So what I'll do, I'll just simply edit this measure. I need to put calculate function here with some function. I will use calculate. And under calculate, I want to see the sum of first day. So I'll put some function here and enter the column name, which is sales from sales table. And close the bracket and press enter. So now we can see our first day sales has come out, which is 13k. So let's cross check, guys. So let me take the one slicer here. And I will drop and drag order date column here, which is dates. So here is our total sales and here is our measure, which we have created. So our first day in this calendar date, which is 1st January 22. Let's click on this. So we guys can see our values are correct. In 1st of Jan, we have made 13K sales. So that means our DAX function is working fine. So if you again want to cross check this data, so go to here order date and click only one date, which is 1st of Jan. And let's see the, the total sales is 13K hundred or not. So unselect all and select only 1st of Jan. And I will use calculator here and let's cross check the sales. 9,000 plus 4,000 plus 400 so we guys can see we have made 13,300 sales which is correct
so in this way you guys can use this first date function to calculate the sales of first day of the month now we will study this last date dax function so let me remove this card visual first and i will take new visual and now i will create new measure and our measure name is last date equal to sign now i will use this measure with the help of calculate and sum so firstly i will write the calculate function because i want to display the sum of sales of last day so i will write here sum function and the column name is sales and close the bracket now i will use last date function and our date is order date and simply close the bracket and let me drag and drop this here so we guys can see our last day sale is 23k and we guys can see in order date our last day date is 17th march 2022 so let's cross check the last day sales is correct or not yes guys which is 23k that means this dex function is working fine and you guys can also cross check from here so let me clear the filter from here and and click on the last day of the sales which is 17th march so again we can calculate from here 8000 plus 11700 plus 3000 which is 22700 which is almost about 23k so that means our measure is working fine you guys can also see the actual values from here see guys so in this way we can use first date and last date i hope you guys are clear with the concept of first date and last date and now we will study some more time intelligence function so let's talk about this previous month so previous month is nothing is just basically calculate the sales of previous month if you guys see this calendar table here are no sales in previous month like in january 2022 here is no sales in December 2021. So that will display as blank. So let me remove this measure and let me take another card visual. And now we will create some new measure, which is previous month. So I will use this measure with the help of calculate function. Calculate our expression is sum of sales. And now I will use previous month DAX function. And our dates are order dates. And close the packet. And let me drag and drop this measure. So we guys can see it displaying blank value. Why? Because there has no sales in December 2021. There is no sales has made on previous month. That's why it's displaying blank. So you guys can create own calendar table and sales column and you guys can practice. So in this way you can use previous month DAX function. And you guys can also explore yourself previous quarter, previous year and other DAX function and so on. So I hope you guys are clear with the concept of time intelligence function. How is it works? So guys, this is our last class of our DAX part and from next class, we will study the next step of the process of making report, which is report building. So guys, stay tuned with us for more learning and make more practice yourself of DAX functions and other concepts, which we have studied before. And if you have any doubt, please write in a comment section box for more clarification. So please support this channel guys and kindly subscribe and share and don't forget to press bell icon else you will miss an update. And guys I am also providing the paid training of interview preparation as well as Power BI full course. For more updates you guys can follow me on LinkedIn and LinkedIn link is given under the description box. So thank you so much guys for your more love and support.